We are nearing tip time in the Colonial. A championship is at stake. Here's a third member of our crew, basketball insider Gary Parrish. You know, until this season, Speedy Claxton was the only player in Hofstra history to ever get 40 points in a game. He did it two times in a four-year Hofstra career. Uh, but Justin Wright Foreman now has done it uh, three times this season, most recently last night. Got 42 points on 30 shots in that semifinal win over Delaware. And Speedy Claxton, he was courtside to see it because Speedy Claxton is, of course, a Hofstra assistant these days. I talked with Speedy earlier, asked him what makes Justin Wright Foreman such a great score, score? And he said it's Justin's belief in himself. He said he really does think he's scoring each time he gets the ball. And Speedy said it's that confidence that makes Justin Wright Foreman really, really special. Gary, we can't wait to see what Justin Wright Foreman does tonight. Kubota starting lineups for Northeastern. Anthony Green, three rim-rocking dunks last night in the semifinal win over Charleston. A big presence inside. For Hofstra, Eli Pemberton, second team All-Colonial this year. He's applied second leading score and been in double figures in both Colonial tournament games this week. Someone's got to help out Justin Wright Foreman. And here we go. Taylor Green jumping up. Underway in Charleston, South Carolina. A title on the line tonight. The winner is off to the big dance. Hoxha starts in a 2-3 matchup zone, Dave. He's packing it in. They don't like playing man-to-man. -man. Matchup zone means you're going to guard a guy in your area as well as the ball, as well as your own space. So a little different than a pure zone, which is worries about the ball and an area. Big block for Jaquiel Taylor, the transfer from Purdue on Gresham early. Tie-up. Possession arrow to the Huskies. Bill Cohen, 13th year. We saw a moment ago the 2015 CAA champs try to avenge that title loss last year in the championship game to Charleston. He told us pregame it's about staying in the moment and trying to appreciate where you are. Don't look back. Don't look ahead. Hofstra ball here after the tie-up. Good advice. Yeah, good advice, Dave. I was fortunate to coaching seven of these and you just got to worry about the game you worry about the circumstances what happened before or what's going to happen in the future stay in a moment joe mahalik his first caa coach of the year honor this season he tells us an active zone defense will try to slow down vasa pushitsa tonight he took niagara twice in the big dance in his time in western new york hopsy goes to a one two two zone press soft back to the two three zone they do that day to try to burn some time off the shot clock all right and try to get a steal so make them play against the defense twice who sheets up silky smooth point guard Gresham trying to bounce down low for green knocked out of bounds and nine to shoot here for the huskies zone defense out of bounds and doing that's much better day because man to man a lot of times you can carve you up let's reset to 20 it was kicked and then thrown away, right to Pemberton. Sloppy start for Northeastern. Right corner kicking out, into the corner. Oh. Doesn't get the roll, everything but drop. Grace Bold no rebound. Here come the Huskies. The Northeastern wants a medium tempo game. Hofstra wants to run, 84 points a game. There's a foul there, I think. Taylor's first foul. Key to the game day for uh, Northeastern. Crashed the boards. They really dominated last night. And uh, for Hofstra, a little help for my friends. Uh, Justin Wright Foreman had 42 last night, more than half the team's points. All right, he's got to get some help. The Beatles, you know, Dave, you got, you're musically inclined, right? Love the Beatles. A little help for my friends. That's it. Try to get music involved here. I was a musical guy until I was five. And my aunt said I was tone deaf. So 50 years I've been down about that. To sing at weddings and funerals, so still upset at it. First point of the night, coach Anthony Green. Second free throw. It's Pear, senior center from Quincy, Massachusetts, just outside Boston. Pemberton. Major Bowie. Taylor too strong. Lefty baseline jumper. Pushitsa. The rebound for the Huskies. And a slow offensive start continues here. After the Colonials leading scoring team by far. And in a 2-3 matchup zone. Doing that try to protect the basket so teams don't get a lot of free throws against them. 
Five to shoot. He shoots it. Launching. Way off on a three. Boy, the rebound. Coburn, a little sloppy. Pushitsa finds it. And Coburn gets too physical trying to rip the rock back and commits his first. Dave, sometimes in a championship game, all right, there's a lot of nerves on both sides, naturally. They're feeling each other out. All right, that once they get into the flow of it after three or four minutes, it should pick up a little bit. Sometimes in the beginning, they're a little bit tense, a little hesitant. It's the first ever matchup between Northeastern and Hofstra in the Colonial Championship game. Four straight year, the top two seeds have gone head to head in the title tilt. There's Green up top. Northeastern's got to get moving now. You can't be stationary against this matchup zone. He's almost like man to man. Swing it quickly and drive the ball at the gap. Drive it, swing it. Five to shoot. Pushitsa in the corner. Look for Brace. Picked off. Hamilton's on the move. Bouncing down there. Oh. Coburn. The hammer and one. Tariq Coburn. Chance for a three-point play. Good defense now by Hofstra. Nice steal. Here we go. Excellent defense. Leads to offense. Great pass by Pemberton. Up, up, and away. Coburn with a finish. Nice dunk by Corbin, 6'5 junior from Cardozo High School in Queens, coached by Ron Neclarion, New York City basketball coach, Hall of Famer. Transfer from St. Bonaventure in the A-10. Another lefty and gets a roll for you a like three-point play. Maybe you like you're partial. I'm a southpaw. I know, you're a little partial. You're a lot of lefties be, in this game. I know. You got to give the righties a little shot, too. Right Foreman is the most prominent southpaw we'll see here tonight, coach. You love him. I do too. What a player. I haven't mentioned his name yet. A quiet start. He shoots up through to a line eight to shoot. Here's Roland. Transfer from UW. Who shoots up top? Can't click from three. And Taylor has the rebound. Right out cue. Right for him. Back iron miss. Gresham. Who starts the game defending him for the most part has the rebound. Roland rushed out. Yep. Weak side offensive glass for Green. Stick back off the glass is good. Northeast is really tough, David. You know, off the offensive glass, they really pound it. Uh, that's one of the big things they do very well. Last night against Charleston, they had 12 offensive rebounds, Dave, and they got 14 points off those 12 offensive boards. Pemberton too strong in a three. Brace. The native of Santa Barbara, California. The rebound and run out. Northeastern looks more relaxed to begin the game. Yep. Well, they've been here before, here last year. Been a while since Hops has been in the championship game. Lucky break for Northeastern. Who shoots almost through the red race on the baseline. Offensive foul. Underway. From Charleston, you're watching Bracket Week, presented by Kubota. What a beautiful spot. Great scenery, great food. Charleston, South Carolina. The Colonial Championship here for a third year, moving to the brand new arena in Washington, D.C. next year. Can't wait for that. Pete, Chalk Conference Tournament. The top seed has won 11 in the last 17 years. Charleston won the title a year ago in front of the home crowd. Fourth straight year, the top two seeds have met in this championship game for Hofstra, their third ever trip to the Colonial title game. They lost the UNCW in Baltimore three years ago. Two players on the Hofstra team. Three and right former were on that pride squad. Didn't play much that year. Now they're key members as seniors trying to win it all here tonight. Bump foul down low. It's important in the game today to see how the referees call it. Sometimes from different conferences, they're going to be a lot go or you know, tight. Uh, I think if it let a lot go, if it's real physical, that's advantage to Northeastern. Jordan Rowland there, Pete. Rowland picks up his first. Yep. One shot so far for Wright Foreman. Here's number two and his first bucket. A long two for Justin Wright Foreman. 42 last night. And a new single game CAA tournament record. Second in the nation in scoring behind Campbell's Chris Clemens. Yep. What a season for the senior for Clemens. 27 points a game, Dave Red, Second leading score in the country. Pushitsa. 
two may men. Stars are out. Car. Stars. The response for the two big stars. Stars are out. In the Colonial as seniors. Murphy. the runner. A little short this time. Murphy off the Northeastern bench. The rebound for Pushitsa, native of Serbia. Started his career at University of San Diego in the West Coast Conference. And a transfer to Northeastern. What a fit he's been. Classically trained point guard. Bill Cohen tells us. Sees the floor with tremendous vision. Jason Kirk. Another three. Back to back jacks from three for Pushitsa. Yep, nice job attacking his own. Right form in some trouble. Osius, the steal, but he lost it. Saves. Bajor Bowie has it for Pemberton. Osius into the game. Look at that. The 2018 Colonial Defensive Player of the Year. Two steals right off the bench. That's amazing. Rowan can't connect though. Stays cold in this tournament from three. Had a fabulous year. The last couple games for Rowan, the native of Syracuse. Struggling a bit. Right form up top, long three. A back iron miss. Bold embrace, guys, for the defensive glass. One way to beat the zone, Davey. Try to beat it down the court. What the Huskies are trying to do now. Murphy fouled out last night. Pump fake on Dwyer. It goes. Thomas Murphy, the sophomore, with a take, the two, and the foul. 8 0 run for the Huskies. Chance for a three point play. Inside, reads the D, took his time. Nice pump fake. The left hand. Nice finish by Thomas Murphy from Wakefield, Rhode Island. Pete, you said at top of the broadcast, the supporting cast of the big stars in this game have got to come through. Exactly. Right form is an unbelievable play, there, but he can't do it by himself. 42 last night. We mentioned uh, against Delaware, but uh, didn't get enough help. It's tough to do that by himself, and this Northeastern has a, a terrific team, so some guys got to step up now for Hofstra. There's one for three shooting so far. Bowie missed an entire season with an ACL tear, he told us about today. Never thought he'd get back. He thought he was done with his career. Throws that one away. It's another steal for Osius. He's got three already, but he lost it. They're out of control. Take it away from right former. Here we go. It's been a sloppy game here. Man. Five Husky turnovers. Dwyer trying to find oh, the handle. Bodies game. everywhere Come here. On, guys getting hit. Wow. Good call. He hit him three times. Bill Cohen says, what's going on? That's who shoots a coach. There we go. There we go. Boom, boom. Oops. Ball. Bill's playing deep. He's coaching. He's it. Bill's in a trap. He's coaching every trap second, Bill. isn't it? He's coaching his face off every dribble. Hey, trying to get back in a big dance. I love Bill Cohen. Terrific guy. Did a wonderful job at Boston College many years ago as an assistant for Al Skinner. 13th year now at Northeastern. Did a great job. He told us pregame it wouldn't be easy to beat Hofstra, the regular season champs. Osi is doing a tremendous job knocking that out of bounds. Again, he has been incredibly active. Yeah. Since coming out of the court for Coach Cohen, yep. the Bill told us, look, we're against the top seed for the player of the year, the defensive player of the year, the coach of the year in the Colonial. Yep. This will be a challenge tonight. No question. Right Foreman, two-time CAA MVP. We Works go. up top, Jalen Ray. The sophomore lefty buries a triple for Hofstra. Needed that one, Dave. Hops is a great scoring team, Dave. As you know, 84 points a game. So the higher the tempo, the quicker the speed, the better it is for them. Second leading scorer in the nation. 27 points a game for Justin Wright. Foreman. Team split regular season. Pete each winning on their home court. Pride on Long Island, Northeastern Boston. Three to shoot here. Gresham, let's fly for three. Battles out. And Ray the rebound. Ray hit four clutch free throws last night. Hops to advancing to the finals. Can't connect this time on the righty layup. His offhand. OCS for breaks. Pushitsa. So smart, Daisy. Travels that time. Yeah. Once again, Justin Wright's great, but he needs help. Here we go. Jalen Ray from downtown, the left-hander. Bang. Stay with us. You got a great one.
You're watching Bracket Week presented by Kubota. The Colonial Championship game is underway here in Charleston tomorrow night, 10 Eastern. CBS Sports Network shifts things over to the women's game for the Mountain West Championship. Don't miss as the remaining two teams compete for a bid of the NCAA tournament. Let's flash back 2001, Hofstra America East Championship against Delaware. They're both in the Colonial now. Jay Wright and the Pride won back-to-back -back America East titles at the turn of the millennium. Last title game against the Blue Hens in 01. Pride led by Norman Richardson's 20 points, led by 10 at the half, never looked back. And they clinched Hofstra's last trip to the NCAA tournament, 2001. 18 years ago, now Joe Mahalik and Hofstra want to go back. Yeah. Let's go back to Gary. You might notice Justin Wright Foreman's only taken three shots so far in the first nine minutes of this game. He took 30 shots last night, so averaged about seven and a half per 10 minutes. This is by design. I talked to the Hofstra staff pregame. They knew that Northeastern was going to focus on him intensely. They talked to him about getting his teammates involved, trusting them to make shots. The problem, of course, so far, his teammates are just two of nine from the field. One for four so far, Gary, as you deliver the report. Now two more misses for Wright Foreman. Osius coaches all over. Yeah, long and athletic, Justin Dave. Wright Foreman. Missed 19 games this year with injuries. Ankle problem, Osius basically missed total two months this year. Gresham, three, four, three. Donnell Gresham, the red shirt here from Minnesota. There is a three for the Huskies. Good job, Dave. That's a weakness in his own, that foul line there. Yeah. Bowie, long range shot. Count it. Got free and nails it. DeJour Bowie. Happy, you know, for DeJour Bowie, Dave. We spoke to him a little bit after the shoot around today and tough night last night. Big time three. And Coach Pushita just picked up his second foul. Yeah. First team all colonial. And the Huskies' best player by far is going to sit. Yeah. A chance here for a four point play for Bowie. First team all league, Dave. It hurts. So, question is, how long do you keep him out? A lot depends on the score, of course. But uh, some players, some coaches keep him out the whole half. I wouldn't do that. I take him out for a few minutes and put him back in. There. Just be smart. I think Pushich is a very smart player, so he can do that. He can play with two fouls. It's rare to see him off the court. Sits for now. Well, he's their heart and soul, Dave. Big, big loss for the Huskies. Murphy spin move on Taylor. Three. Jump hook. Short. Gresham, look at the hustle on the Watu for Northeastern. A fresh 30 here for the Huskies. Take their time. Foul line's wide open area. Now look to drive the ball. They can move the ball quicker, Dave, and drive it. They're too stationary. Murphy high post. Brace in the corner, 10 to shoot. Two man game with Murphy. On Taylor, he'll spin. Jump hook again, way off. And Ray has a defensive rebound for Hofstra. Robert Free for three. Too strong. Put that up pretty soon in the possession. As Hofstra still struggling to get going on offense here. Northeastern moved the ball now. They're trying to match up with it. Osius for three. Oh. Look at him. Sean Osius. Missed the first eight weeks. Missed the last several weeks of the season with an ankle problem. And back just before the tournament started for Northeastern, he's been fabulous the last two games for the Huskies. Foul call. Yeah. Here we go. Attacking his own. Back out to Osius from way downtown. He loves those wings. 17 last night. Four for seven from downtown. They have a lot of confidence, Dave. That foul coach is on Murphy, and that's his second. So two on Murphy and two on Pushitsa early for Northeastern. Green returns for the Huskies. And that's a storyline. Right Foreman trying to get going. Deep corner three. Short again. Coburn up high. Two tips at it. Can't convert. Defensive rebound for Green. Osius blocked. Taylor foul first. Right Foreman struggling right now. Good defense. Red at Northeast's defense. Way downtown, one for six, Dave. Goes into the, a little bit out of control. Ball just doesn't roll. Yeah. Second leading scorer in the country right now. One for six, two points, but they'll heat up. He's a volume shooter now. Feels like leather, Dave. It's going up. Keep shooting. Only the 14th game, Pete, of the year for Sean Osius. We mentioned the injury troubles. He's had 
Bill Cohen a text right before the Colonial Tournament. He said, finally, Coach, I am 100% ready to go. No more injuries for me. And he's played so well the last two games, helping propel the Huskies here to the championship game. Brilliant. Last night was 17. The lead Northeastern. Rolling. The rejection. Right form it. Looks for room. Not easy. Osius again with a block. He's been everywhere for Northeastern here in the first half. Been tremendous, Dave. Oh, my goodness. Tremendous. A man from Boynton Beach, Florida. Sean Osius. Right Foreman is one for seven. With one assist, two total points for the nation's second leading scorer so far. Green high post. Osius again. Not this time. Brace the rebound. Rowland. Next try from three. He has it. Jordan Rowland. First three of the night. And how about Northeastern? Up by 11. It's Hofstra's largest deficit of this tournament. Brace the rebound. Rowland. Good from three. Twenty three twelve game here in Charleston. It's Northeastern and Hofstra, the top two seeds in the Colonial Championship game. Make sure to tune in to the 2019 Reese's College All Star game presented by Walmart on April 5th, live at 4 30 Eastern time, right here on CBS Sports Network. Sean Osius, Pete, for Northeastern. He's been terrific, Dave. Five points. He's doing an excellent job defensively, offensively. He's got three steals already. It's number two right there. And now defensively, boom, he blocks. Second leading score, just some right form, but they can knock it down. He reversed the ball against his own. The left hander, bang, five points, three steals, one block. But not a clinic on both sides of the floor. Sean Osius. 26 minutes, Pete, last night in the semifinal win over Charleston. 17 points, 6 of 9 from the field. He made four threes last night. Exactly. And he's getting it done defensively tonight on right form, but he's free. Contested and misses another. Yep. The nation's second leading score is 1 for 8 from the field so far. So a guy with an 86-game double-figure yep. point scoring streak that dates back to December 6th of 2016 against St. Bonaventure. He's got to get some help, Dave. Again, he played 44 minutes last night, 38 minutes the night before. Pemberton a strip on Osius. He's slow to get up. Grab that wrist for a second for Northeastern. Nice drive here. Nice block by Pemberton. Go you back know, to Gary. You, you know, it is an important point to make that Hofstra had to play five more minutes last night. If they look tired, it might be because they are. And simply put with Justin Wright Foreman, when you're playing with an opportunity to go to the NCAA tournament, he's going to have to get going. All season long, they've relied on him to be a star. Um, he's going to have to be a star here, or this is going to continue to go the wrong way. Take for two for Pemberton that time. So a supporting cast, Gary, right on cue. Contributing, second team All-Colonial, the former Eli Pemberton, the junior from Middletown, Connecticut. The sheets of the two fouls. Snow the bench, watching Brace drive to the basket for two. Yeah, well, when you have the lead, Dave, you had that luxury of resting your star guard. He's got two fouls. 10-2-1. Have been 8-0 for Northeastern. We're in control for now, right for him. Deep oh, three. Tough shot. Contested triple from way out. Great defense, better offense on that one. You see one goes in, Dave, right? He lights up like a Christmas tree. His first three of the game. Gresham up top. Brace. The pocket pass on the money to Green. He delivers. To do us a way to beat the zone, Dave. Move the ball, move the defense, and drive it. Dribble penetration. Great half court execution, Pete. Right foreman. Another one. Here, here Look at go. how smooth that ball goes through the basket. Back to back jacks for Justin Wright foreman from three. Heating up, seven point game. Leader in the colonial, threes made. Up to 105. Keep moving the ball quickly. Look to drive it now. Northeastern. Time to shoot for Brace. That's a drive Osius the ball. floats. 
gets a roll. And now it's his world day. We're just living in it. Olsi is playing great. Right Foreman tries again. Green clears the rebound. Other players can't just stand around and watch him go one on one. Like James Harden, great player, but it's got to be more help from the other guy. Brace reverse layup for two. Golden Brace found it in a perfect spot. Delivers again for Northeastern. Huskies have made five straight from the field. Azure Bowie at the elbow. Look at the hustle. Green on the hardwood. Tie up. And the ball is going the other way. Northeast is doing a great job attacking the 2 3 matchup zone by Hops. Nice penetration. Nice floater in the lane. Oh, the rim is kind. Osius pass inside. Nice move inside for the big fella. Nice finish by Bolden. Bill Cohen tells us Bolden Brace, one of the most underrated players in the conference. The team's leading rebounder entering the tournament. The official timeout here for a second it was a tie up and the arrow going to the Huskies. That was the call on the court. Dave, when your offense is struggling like uh, Hofstra is, you got to change the tempo. So that's where they go into the full court pressure now to try to get their defense to help their offense get going. Joe Mahalik's a fabulous coach. Worked for LaSalle's assistant for Speedy Morris. He's a legend in Philly. His words to us at the team shoot around. Our team all year has had that will to win, the refuse to lose mentality. They're going to be tested tonight here because the Huskies are hot. Gresham, free throw line. Watched by Ray. Rowland, low oh, three is good. Jordan Rowland from deep. If he gets hot, Davey shoots 40% from three point land last night. As you mentioned, only two for seven from downtown. If he gets hot, big problems for Hofstra. Team best, 96 threes on the year for Jordan Rowland. Yeah. Swing the ball now. Look to drive it if you're Hofstra. Corey pulls up from the elbow. Short. There's Brace. Another rebound for Northeastern. Up 14 and the ball here. Gresham right to the basket. 4 2. You get a timeout now. I know it's under four. You got to stop the bleeding. 9 nothing run by Northeastern. Stop the bleeding, Joe. Five for Gresham, who had three points against UNCW in the quarterfinal. Coming to play here tonight. Ray, tough shot blocked by Green. Foul first. How about this score? Northeastern second seeded Huskies are blasting top seeded Hofstra by 16. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Brent Stover, Swin Cash, Khalid Amin, and John Rothstein standing by. Scores and highlights from around the country. First half analysis as well. Who's in so far, Pete? Liberty, Gardner Webb, Bradley from the Missouri Valley, Murray State, and John Morant. Dancing, Wofford, what a season Wofford had. Yep. from the Southern Conference, right, young. and Iona is going again, the Gales. Yep, they, they step up big time, Dave, but right here tonight, I know you were a big Shakespeare fan of Syracuse, you've got a wonderful education. He wrote, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Hofstra won the regular season crown right now, things are uneasy, that's Henry IV, as you know. So uh, they got to get going, and he's got to get some help. they got to get some help now for Justin Wright Foreman. Maybe it's Jalen Ray. Yep. Sophomore lefty. Yep. Seven points, five boards against Delaware, as we talked about in the semifinals last night, and four clutch free throws down the stretch to put the game away. And he said after the game last night that every time I go to the free throw line, I go to the game online, I think about one thing, being in the gym by myself, taking free throws. Nothing around me matters. It's just making that free throw. Exactly. One, two, two zone by Hofstra. Try to get a turnover back to the two, three matchup zone. Trying to burn some clock. Get a steal if they can. They got to be a little more aggressive, Dave. They got to get their defense to get their offense going. Get some deflections. Bushitz is still out. Two fouls for the best point guard in the Colonial. And one of the best in the nation. Brace with five to shoot here. Here's Green. Cut from Gresham. Two to shoot. Rattles out. Got to push it now if you're Hofstra. Got to score in transition. The transition defense, though, certainly for Northeastern Ray. Too short, and there's Brace again. Defensive glass for the Huskies. 
Kick out for Gresham. Great ball movement. Osius by himself. The three rattles out. Look at Green. He'll shoot free throws for Northeastern. Nice job. Right now, Northeastern is owning the offensive last day. Pounding him inside, getting, got to box him out. Last night they had 12 offensive boards against Charleston. 14 points off those 12 offensive rebounds. Team's leader, field goal percentage, and block shots. Green misses the first. The senior from just outside Boston. Nine points last night. Semifinal win over Charleston and some rim rocking dunks that really turned the game for the Huskies. It's one. Theodosius, a team best seven points. Who sheets us, sits and watches, maybe for the rest of the half. Right form it up top, long three. Short. Taylor. Offensive rebound. The stick back is way off. Gresham. The rebound and run out for Northeastern. Right now, Northeastern's very comfortable, Dave. They're playing in a nice flow. They seem very poised. I think getting to the championship game last year, I think, it's helped them. High post for Grant. Ten to shoot for Gresham. Rowan for three. Three triples first half for Jordan Rowan. Third team all colonial this season, showing us why. Yeah. The pep band knows how good he is. 40% yeah. from three-point land coming into the tournament. Pemberton no, no. spot can't with a follow does. What an effort for Eli Pemberton. Huskies beat Hofstra by 14 at home, February 2nd in Boston. Lost by three on the island, January 5th. The two head-to-head -head games. Gresham bouncing. Green has it. Up he goes. Down it goes. Anthony Green, the hammer for Northeastern. Great job attacking his own. They, they moved the defense, passed it around, and drove the basketball at the seam between two guys. Got to the rim. Got a dunk. What's that? Through it. Oh, hell no. Good effort for Taylor. First two for the Purdue transfer. They played in the Sweet 16 last year for the Boilermakers of the Big Ten and their loss to Texas Tech. Final seconds of the half. Gresham. Rowland. Step back. Deep three. Not this time. There's the horn. There's the half. What an opening 20 for Bill Cohen's Huskies. Up big. Pack the basket. Draw the big guy. Send it home. Nice pass. Excellent dunk. Nice finish by Green. Largest halftime deficit for Hofstra, the top seed in the Colonial, all year long. It's 16. Coach Bill Cohen joined by Gary Parrish. Bill, Vossa picks up his second foul. 10-15 left in the first half. It's a three-point game. Now it's a 16-point game. How'd you do it? Yeah, well, just uh, the, the guys that came in played well. You know, Sean's doing, giving us a great effort defensively on Justin Wright Foreman. And Jordan got, the, got it going a little bit, made some shots. I thought we shared the ball at a high level and, and played with good pace. You're 20 minutes away from the NCAA tournament. What will you stress to your team at halftime? Yeah, just come out keep getting stops. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. Last year, Gary, they led by 13 and a half over Charleston and fell short in overtime. So... Again, a huge lead at halftime in this event for Northeastern. And the first half scores 42-26 after the break. We'll send it to our New York studio for at and at the half. You're watching Bracket Week, presented by Kubota on CBS Sports Network. Oh, wow. Great restaurant, seafood. Pete, that looks amazing. You're watching Bracket Week, presented by Kubota, Charleston, South Carolina. Serve it up. I'm hungry. How about you? It looks great. <laughs> it looks Forget about it. I like that. Welcome back to the Colonial Championship game. Dave and Pete rejoined by our basketball insider, Gary Parrish, in a moment. Justin Wright, former coach, 3 of 12 from the field in the first half. Northeastern shoots 53%. Basically, for the Huskies, a perfect first half. Played great, Dave. They put on a clinic offensively and defensively. Yeah. Really shared the basketball. Ten assists in the first half. Nice pass. Boom. Osius downtown. Here we go, cut, now kick it in, kick it out, rolling, 
on fire in the first half. Now you dribble penetration. Cam comes up, gives it inside to the big guy. But second leading scorer in the country struggles. Justin Wright Foreman only had eight points in the first half. David, you mentioned three for 12. The field is a floater in the lane. Yeah, here we go. That's what we need more of this thing. Crossover, break his ankle. That's what we need. Might be a little tired. Dave, I'm a little worried about that. Those stats brought to you by Jersey Mike Subs. 3 of 12 for right formers. We talked about Pete. 2 of 7 from 3. Yeah, he's going to make it from downtown. Let's go back to Gary. You know, I talked to Coach Mahalik coming out of the locker room. I asked him specifically, does Justin Wright Foreman look tired to him? Because he did work hard in that semifinal win over Delaware. He said maybe a little, but more than that, he thinks he's just frustrated and Northeastern is guarding him really, really well. He said his bigger concern is a lack of toughness. He said we're just not playing hard. We're not being tough. We are more the nail than we are the hammer. He's told his players, I don't have any magic for you. If you want to come back and win this, you got to be tougher. you got to play harder. Great point. No, Joe. A straight shooter. I love Joe Mahalik, a great coach. He's had a wonderful career. He wants to get back to the big dance. As you mentioned before, Dave, he took Niagara to the NCAA tournament twice. So he's a long way to go. As you know, Dave, you told me many times the first five minutes of the second half is crucial. So Hobson's got to step up big time these first few minutes of the half. Pemberton drops. Can't hit. Taylor follows for two. Jaquiel Taylor, a grad student with a film degree from Purdue. Getting his master's at Hofstra. Love the fit when he went to the first open gym. He was shopping his services around after graduating. And he thought that school on Long Island, the Pride, was such a competitive team. They could go to the big dance. Been a big factor all year. Here's Bushitsa. Starts the second half, Pete. Left, as Gary talked about, with Bill Cohen. About halfway through the first half, the second foul. Pressure. Too strong. Rebound Pemberton. Got to push it now, Hofstra. Be aggressive. We weren't real aggressive. I didn't think Dave in the first half. You just stand around and watch Justin Wright Foreman. Taylor, back to the nation's second leading scorer. Can't hit. Look at Taylor crash the glass, though, and a foul call. Joe Mahalik told us that they would not be in this position. Hofstra, a chance to play for the championship without Jaquiel Taylor. And he said in a team meeting after the semifinal win last night, how many nets did you cut down en route to the NCAA tournament four times at Purdue, and the answer was none. They never won the Big Ten tournament championship. Right. Jaquiel Taylor can do it tonight. Exactly. People at Hofstra call him the unsung hero, Dave, because he's the missing piece. Yeah. We are confirming the foul from a moment ago. It's on Gresham and not... Vasa Pushitsa and Northeastern fans. You can probably hear it from here, Pete. In Boston, relieved. Right form of the corner is fouled from beyond the arc. He'll shoot three. Nice out of bounds plays. Couple of screens. Good call. Got him on the elbow. Gresham with the foul. Gresham, Pete, picks up his third foul. First of three fouls in the game tonight. And Osius will replace Gresham. Osius was just lights out in the first half. One more free throw. Trying to go to 87 games in a row with his free throw in double figures. Amazing. The second active leading double figure scoring streak behind Chris Clemens of Campbell with 114 in a row. Campbell won the Big South regular season title. And there it is, 10 points, double figures again. So, Clemens will have at least one more game in the NIT coming up. Hofstra will get to the NIT, even with a loss tonight, because they are regular season champs in the Colonial. Exactly. 87 in a row. That's tremendous. I like to see him press tremendous. now, Dave. You know, a little zone press back to the zone. Be a little more aggressive defensive. Have your defense get your offense going. I know Coach Mihalik doesn't do that that often. He's a great coach, but I like to see them be a little more aggressive defensively. Gresham out, Coach, with three. Key stage of the game. All of a sudden, the lead is cut to 11. Northeastern trying for its first points of the half. Osius spins through traffic, travels on route to the goal. And it's right back to Hofstra on a run. Yep. Long, long game with the three-point shot. Game's never over. Good call. Shuffle the feet. Two-step. Florida two-step, Dave. Can't do that, South Carolina. 
At home, you can do it. <laughs> Breakfast in bed. And on the road. All five points. Second half. To Hofstra. Coburn up top. Left and three. Yeah. Everyone. Splash. Tariq Coburn for three. 8 0 run to begin the half for Hofstra. Coburn made three threes last night, Dave, so he's capable. Brace foul. Shoots for Northeastern. Nice screen by Taylor. Coburn's wide open. Plenty of time. Knocked it in. Nice job. Good screen. Nice follow through. Tariq Coburn from Rosedale, New York, in Queens. Second foul, Pete. A moment ago on Taylor. And Brace to the free throw line's got one more. Junior from Santa Barbara, California. Bill Gowen told us this week how much Brace has helped this team out. 17 points, 28 minutes, quarterfinal win over UNCW. Effective last night as well in the semis over Charleston. Hits two for the Huskies here. Ten point game, it's nothing. Okay. I like the bounce in a step, looks like Hofstra's a little bit more active. Pemberton, mismatch with Roll on defensively. Can't hit though, Green. Gotta finish that. That's his sixth rebound of the game. Weakness in his own is that foul line area, Dave. The guy comes out and screens. Rolling through traffic. Floats with the left. Can't hit. Taylor. Offensive rebound for Hofstra. Here comes the pry. For sure, Bowie. Ooh, we get ten points a game. I'd like to see him get some points. There. Player of the year, Dwight Foreman, who rattles in a shot, and Hofstra on the move here. They've cut it to eight. No field goal second half for the Huskies. That happens, Dave. You go inside, try to throw the ball inside to the big guy, try to get him some touches inside, try to get the ball to Green. Eastern fans must remember last year, a 17-point second half lead. Green can't bring it in. Taylor's got it. Right Foreman on the move for two. Time out. Northeastern. It's a six-point game. What's going on? Good defense by Pemberton. Here they come. Defense leads to offense. Bowie pushes ahead. Nice finish by Justin. Right for me. Hofstra fans from Hempstead are feeling it right now. 12 2. They've outscored Northeastern in the second half. Tomorrow night, 7 30 Eastern. We've got more conference tournament action. Switch things over to the Patriot League. Don't miss the championship game. It's Bucknell and Colgate. Battle for a ticket to the big dance right here on CBS Sports Network. Six tickets have been punched. The seventh here tonight in Charleston. Second half. Hofstra Pete has come to play. Doing a great job. Attacking the basket. Nice move inside. Miss. Taylor with the finish, the big guy. Here we go, left handed from Colbert from downtown. Here we go, nice attack, just the right corner with the mid range game. Push it ahead, Bowie throws it ahead. There's that man again, just the right foreman. 12 2 run by Hofstra. Joe Mahalik, terrific coach, doing a great job. Right now, Northeast has got to get going, Dave. Two turnovers and 0 for 2 in the field to start the second half. The strip has been flipped. Now Pushitsa and company. But Murphy at the high post. We're going to change things around here. Gresham for three. Delivers. Big hoop. Second three of the game for Donnell Gresham Jr. Big three. I really needed that one. Finally a field goal second half for the Huskies. Yeah. Hoffman's keep being aggressive. Swing the ball and drive it. Pack the basket. That's it. Bowie. Bowie. Great tough shot. But gathers and finishes. Got half a dozen. And along with Wright Foreman, the only two in the Hoffman roster who played in a Colonial Championship game. 2016, a loss in Baltimore. UNCW won it that year. Murphy from the elbow, almost left his feet. Pride fans thought he did. Brace from the same spot needs a bailout. Murphy, post up, and the lefty hook. Yeah. A mismatch in their matchup zone. Murphy going against Justin Wright Foreman. 
The winner is dancing tonight here in Charleston. Been 18 years for Hofstra. Northeastern win in 2015. Taylor up top. Right for it for three. Not this time. Gresham, scraps, Murphy, loose change. Pushitsa on the move. Pushitsa has a great feel for the game day. Doesn't make mistakes. Very smart player, veteran guy, yet tremendous training over in Serbia, in Belgrade, and uh, did a great job. Bill Cohen did a great job with him. Coaching for him at Northeastern. Eight to shoot. Osius. Three is short. Rebound for Coburn. Right Foreman. Watch by Osius. Pemberton is hit hard by Murphy. Who commits another foul for Northeastern. Hofstra on the comeback trail down nine here. Second half, their third trip. School history to the CAA Finals. Looking for their first title. Tonight, 10 Eastern, it's the story of an all-Muslim girls basketball team that has defied stereotypes to become a dominant program. Don't miss We Need to Talk on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Dave, the way you attack his own defense, get the ball to the foul line area here. Pusicha throws the ball in there right there. Murphy gets it. The zone all corrals him. He kicks it up to, to Gresham. We got a jump shot. They throw it. Skip it to Gresham. Basket. Zone buster. Joe Mahal told us after the Hofstra shoot around, if we play man to man, we're in trouble. It's the zone concept yeah. that's been very effective for Hofstra. Yeah. Trying to get them back in the game. They played really well in the second half, shooting 50%. Long game, Dave. Hofstra's got to be patient. Four to minutes is an eternity. Nice pass. Pemberton from Bowie. Finishes. Nice, job. nice pass by Bowie. Pemberton's being more aggressive, Dave. I like that. Price woken up in the second half. Pete. Yeah. What a difference. Yeah. Much more aggressive. More of a bounce in this step. That's a weakness. They had a foul line area. Murphy free. Nice, nice job. And feed from Brace. Good ball movement again, busting the zone. Right into the foul line, Dave. It's a weakness. Because when you get it there, Dave, you can throw it below, or you can throw it to the right corner or left corner. You got a lot of options. Right for me. Spin move. Block. Murphy foul first. He is something. Nice pass inside. Pemberton with the fake. Nice jump hook in the lane. Northeastern, here we go. Nice pass. Osius, the high post. Brace gets a nice pass to Murphy. Murphy with the little jump hook. Good execution. Both teams are executing very well. Foul, Pete, a moment ago on Murphy is third. Sends right former to the free throw line where he rarely misses. Shoots 85.6%. Speaking with Justin Wright Foreman, who, by the way, has been so generous with his time this week. For a superstar, yep. whenever we want to meet with him, he's come over, taking pictures for Twitter. He's been just awesome. Yep. He Trust said he, he lives for this, the opportunity to play for a Colonial Championship. And Joe Mahalik just couldn't say enough good things about his superstar. He'll play in the pro somewhere next year. Dave, the most amazing thing for me is, as a freshman, he scored 1.6 points a game. Uh, now he's the second leading scorer in the Bell. country, averaging Ooh. 27 points a game. Bella, 17 tonight, in all five of his free throws. Lead is seven. Pushitsa for three. Smooth as silk. Got three long balls tonight. Hofstra's got to keep their head up. Can't get discouraged. Almost 13 minutes to go. Pushitsa said last night after the semifinal win, beating Charleston, yeah, felt good. Some redemption, but nothing will beat winning the title tonight. Right form of the tank. Hanks got it this time. Osius, the rebound. Pushitsa's on the move. So he got hit, Dave. Osius, transition three. Green, a hand on it. And he tracks it down on the corner. Got to push it now, Hofstra. Got to score in transition. Coburn taking three ball. You bet. Torrey Coburn, second triple of the night.
Northeastern keep being aggressive, swing the ball quickly and drive it against his own. Nothing hurts his own day more than dribble penetration after you moved it. Don Casey uh, worked at Temple for many years, uh, worked with him for a while. He helped us at Notre Dame, and he said he knows zone. He wrote a book, Temple is zone. How do you beat the zone? Swing it, dribble penetration at the seam. Brace, pull sheets up top, launches way off. Rebound for Taylor, who's got 11 boards tonight for Hofstra. He's been fantastic, especially in the second half. Pemberton, hit by Green, late whistle, there's a foul. And Pemberton shoots when we return to Charleston. A lot of emotion here. You're watching Bracket Week presented by Kubota. Northeastern Hofstra, Colonial Championship game from the North Charleston Coliseum. Everything is on the line. Pete, as we check the AT&T game summary. Yeah, right now, uh, Northeastern's doing a good job. Points in the paint overall. Nine for 20 for three-point land. Hofstra's heating up. The thing I like, Dave, is Hops has got seven points to zero for Northeastern on the second chance point. So, Pusich uh, is doing a great job, in right form, and not playing his best, but still got 17. What's up, Gary Parrish? You know, I told you right after the half that Joe uh, Mahalik in the uh, locker room at halftime told his team they were not playing hard. Fast forward to this last huddle, he's praising their energy. Said, let's go knock down two free throws right here. We cut it to five. Last words he said to him in the huddle, let's go. Yep. And Pemberton is going, Garrett. Yep. It's the first free throw. Up to seven points on the night. Joe Mahalik, a great coach, knows how to get this guy team ready for the big run here, coach. He's so positive. He's positive. He knows you get a lot more. If you're positive with players, there is an op open up like a flower day. You know what I mean? You, you, you know, you tell them the things in a positive way. Be honest with him. Steal. Right former. From Osius. <laughs> the jam. Up, up, and away. Justin Wright Foreman with the hammer. And how about Hofstra? They've cut it to four. Now 16 at the half. Look inside. I go inside to the big guy. Green, let him touch it. Tad to shoot. Pressure. Skip for Osius for three. Way short. Right, Foreman, another rebound. But that throws oh, it away. Too tall. Airmails that pass to Pemberton. That's his right form, and Osius goes to sleep. Great hands. Smart didn't foul him, throwing it home. Tremendous player. Best guards in the country, one of. Justin right foot, 19 points, two steals. Closest Hoss has been since it was 15-12, Pete, in the first half. The zone's more active now, Dave. That's where you get it, to the foul line area. Grace. He's skilled. Against Taylor, nowhere to go. Ten to shoot. Pushitsa. Not out there for now. Resting for the final run. Yeah. Osius the miss. Here comes Hofstra again. That would get Pushitsa in the game, Dave. He's going to rest a lot the first half. He's at the scores okay. table, yeah. waiting oh, to check good. in next to that ball. Right, okay. Pemberton to take. And a two with the left. Eli Pemberton. Cuts it to a two-point game. Halfway home in half number two. 8-0 run for Hofstra. Yep. Well, Hofstra now swing the ball and drive it. Attack off the bounce. That's how you beat the matchup zone. Swing it quickly. Not a movement. Ball movement, player movement. Osius. Contact, Pemberton in the corner. Pushitsa will come right back in for Northeastern. Good move by Bill Cohen, can't waste any no, more time. Can't take him out. With your star back. point guard. No, he sat a good part of the first half, Dave. Hey, hey. Only played 10 minutes in the first half, so he's, he's okay. Pushitsa glides in. Can't click, short range. We're going to hand on it, comes to Pemberton. Hofstra. They're going to tie this game up. Coburn with the left. Taylor a battle. Stick back, foul. Jaquiel Taylor shoots two for the prize.
Great hustle by Taylor. Coburn just couldn't finish. Taylor, excellent rebound of Dave. It's his 13th rebound. Really working hard. Not a great free throw shoot. He's got to concentrate now. The lefty transfer from Peru converts his career best 17 rebounds, which he did twice this year as a one year player, the grad transfer. Knew he was not going to get any playing time for Purdue this year. Two seven footers ahead of me, told us. Yep. So he shot the services around. And love the competitive nature of Hofstra. Thought it was a perfect fit. 10 0 run. How about this? We are tied at 54 from Charleston. Big crowd coming down from the Long Island area. Fired up. Take your time now, North. He swing the ball, look to drive it. For Murphy. Murphy's pretty good in the post. Pushiksa. Three ball. Fourth triple of the game for Vasa Pushiksa. He does not want this to be his final game as a Husky. He takes big shots, Dave, and he makes big shots. Overplay. Foul. Pushiksa's third. Nice pass. Pushita faked the pass, knocked it down from way downtown. Big time player from Belgrade, Serbia. 17 fouls, Pete. Yep. Second half for Vasa Pushita's Huskies. So one and one. Hofstra, as you know, is the second leading free throw shooting team in the country. 79.7, Dave. So. Incarnate Word from Texas, the only one ahead of him. 81%. The only team 80% or better in the nation, the Cardinals, an incarnate word, but a free throw miss there right on cue. We put the whammy on him. Pemberton misses front of the one and one. School record year for Hasha. Most wins in. Murphy, jump up. In the paint, the feed from Brace, chance for a three point play. Northeast doing a great job getting the ball to the foul line area. Here we get it to the high post. All right, Murphy looks in, into Murphy, boom, nice jump hook by Murphy. Brace with the pass. Pemberton second foul. Three fouls, Hoff for the second half. Another rebound for Taylor. He's got 14 boards in this championship game tonight. He did a great job. <laughs> Foul first before Justin Wright Foreman could get to the basket. And Gresham picks it up. That is four fouls on Donnell Gresham yep. Jr. Yep. He's been playing really it's well, almost Dave. Almost automatic when Wright Foreman gets to the free throw line. Osius will come in. Gresham with the four fouls takes a seat for the Huskies. Misses the front end. Back-to-back wow. -back front end misses for Hofstra on a one-and-one. -one. That is a rarity to see yep. right forward misfire from the free throw line. One of the best free throw shooting teams in the country, Dave. Wow. Brace up top. Northeast is doing a great job getting the ball to that foul line area. Every time, Pete. Yep. Murphy oh, to take. Hey. Taylor, contact. Free throw for Thomas Murphy when we return to Charleston. Championship night in the Colonial. You're watching Bracket Week presented by Kubota. Northeastern has been eight times to the NCAA tournament. Hofstra four appearances in the big dance, but none in the last 18 years. Something's got to give tonight. Just the right board, Pete. Coming alive, half number two. First half struggle, Dave. Three for 12, eight points. He's got 11 points now in the second half with 7.44 to go. He's great in transition. Terrific defense, good hands. Strips it from Osius. Threw it home, so... He wants to go back. He's desperate. A hungry lion hunts best, so this pride, guys. He wants this one. 19 points in this game. Needed 33 in the championship game to set a new single tournament CAA record. 91 points, three games held by Steve Hood. 1990 James Madison. Murphy foul before the break. 
It was on Taylor, his third. And Thomas Murphy's played very well here in this tournament for the Huskies. One more free throw. And a two. 6 0, Northeastern run. OC guarding Justin Wright Foreman. Good matchup, putting the tall, athletic guy on him. Wright oh, Foreman hangs, tough shot, oh, gets off the glass. Goodness. Justin Wright Foreman is spectacular. What a shot for the Pride. Shot it over Murphy. Murphy 6 8. Shot it over. 27th, 20 plus point game for the inimitable. Ooh. Justin Wright. That's a big word, Dave. Use that. Try to grab that rebound, and it goes first call to Hofstra. Officials conferring here. Pushitsa is certain that it belongs to Northeastern. It is Husky ball. Yep. They can't use the replay machine until it gets under two minutes, Dave. They can't look at it. Shot clock, yes, but not on a out of bounds play. Got physical on the inbounds play. Right Foreman was knocked down. He looks up with incredulity. Dave, you trying to step up with these big boys. Back to back. It's championship now, Pete. All right, championship. You got to see his education. I got to get my dictionary. That was it. That was his first foul. I was experimental admissions in college, and you're using these big words. You're a brilliant student, Fairfield. Come on, don't say so short. Sure. No, we should be a little wobbly. Race. The back end on Ray. Kicks Pushitsa. Osius free for three. Buries Bang. it. Right in front of his coach, Bill Cohen. A big triple for Northeastern. Second three ball tonight for Osius. Yep. Osius is gone and just in right form, and so he's got a big challenge ahead of him. Launches for three. Too strong. Big rebound. Who's got it? Brace the battle. It's out of bounds to Northeastern. Nice skip pass to the side. One more by Pushitsa. Osius with the three. He's fired up. A lot of emotion. Only 13 games played all year. An ankle problem that's kept him out of basically two months of the season. It's amazing. Osius has been fantastic in this tournament. Ten to shoot for Murphy. Thought about a 10-footer on Taylor. Five to shoot. The spin move. He traveled. Yep. One Change. extra step. Changes pivot foot. He's been a big addition, though. He's playing a real good half. Dave gets it in there. His pivot foots his left foot. Not, he moved it a little bit. Not much, but he moved it a little bit. Not too many empty possessions now for Hofstra. Swing it, try to get to the free throw line where you're one of the best free throw shooters in the country. That's it, Pemberton attack. Pemberton drives. Too short. Taylor the follow for two. Eight points, 14. Now make that 15 rebounds for Jaquiel Taylor. Here's Brace in the corner. Left the rock behind. Regatters. Pushitsa. Another three. Way downtown. He's got five. Triples tonight, Vasa Pushitsa from long range for Northeastern. Mosius, the overplay, almost caused a turnover. Right Foreman. Oh, yeah. Blocked, yeah. foul. Mosius. Swinging the ball around. Nice penetration by Brace. Penetration again. Vasa from way downtown. Knocked it in. I was an NBA three, Dave, and more. Vasa, terrific player. Nice young man. We spoke to him the other day. Vasa Pushitsa. Two-point attempt for right former coach, so he shoots two here. Gets a roll. Yep. 22 points for right former. Pushitsa told us in our meeting with him, it's about staying calm in the big moment. It's about the trust that the Northeastern coaching staff and players have in Vasa Pushitsa. Yeah, a tremendous player, Dave. Five for eight from three-point land, 15 points. The two stars are coming out now big time. 15 second-half points.
for the nation's second leading scorer, Justin Wright, foreman of Hofstra. Everything at stake here tonight in Charleston. Winner goes to the NCAA tournament. Rowan, quiet in the second half. Eight to shoot for sheets again. Brace, baseline, Murphy, open, Murphy hits another. Thomas Murphy. Tremendous passing by Northeastern. Really sharing the bell, ball really well. Right corner trying to answer, cannot roll, loose change, he's pumped by Coburn. Great pass and a swing around. Who sheets it, has it. Over to Roland. Brace inside to Murphy. Great pass, a great offense. But not a clinic offensively. Bill Cohen, terrific coach. 13th year now at Northeastern. 17 assists on 24 made field goals, Dave. That's serious offensive execution. Roland. Pushitsa, another three ball. Not this time, short. Got five triples tonight. Rebound for Pemberton. Goldberg has checked out. Going in for him. Way off for that shot. Not close, fresh off the bench. And Pushitsa, easy rebound. For Northeastern. Yeah. Coming off the bench, Dave, you got to get into the flow. I know he's anxious, but swing it a little bit. Kushitsa does it again. Make it six. Half a dozen three balls for Vasa Kushitsa tonight. And Northeastern back up double figures. Six for ten from downtown. Wow. The cut. <laughs> Foul. Right, Foreman shoots a couple when we return. Swinging the ball from downtown. Chuck Daly said shooting makes up for a multitude of sins. Obasa swings it. He would love Chuck. Chuck would love him. Bang. Goaltending was called on the last shot from Justin Wright Foreman, so he scored that hoop. He's up to 25 points in the game. And the big story, Pete, Vasa Pushitsa has tied a career high with six threes tonight. Tremendous Dave off the bounce, he gets it off the catch. Nice fake, fake the pass to the corner, nailed it. Way downtown Dave, on fire, six for 10 from three point land. 12 points in the second half. Doing a great job leading this team. That career best six threes by the way, came last year in this arena, in this game. Championship loss to Charleston in overtime. Let's go back to Garrett. You know, I was in the Northeastern huddle, and before Bill Cohen came over to address his team, Sean Osius was in charge, and he was imploring his teammates to keep this going. He said, we're three minutes and 40 seconds away. Those Northeastern kids, they know how close they are to the NCAA tournament. Nine-point game. It's not over yet. Here we go. Oh. Jerry Bowie, the overplay, almost a steal. Yeah. Jalen Ray, good effort for Hofstra. 15 to shoot for Bill Cohen's Huskies. I thought the coach seemed very calm when we met with him pregame. Yeah, very not mellow. Common. Had yeah. his game plan. Felt relaxed. Team had a shoot around local high school here in Charleston. Yep, it's terrific. Rolling baseline doesn't get the roll. Got to push it now, Hofstra. Try to get to the free throw line. We're in the bonus situation. That's it. Foul on Rolling. Raymond Steins with the call. What you want, Dave? You know, try to score with the clock stopped. Joe Mahalik did a fabulous job. Regular season champs of the Colonial. Second foul, Roland coach. Ten fouls. So Pemberton shoots two here for Hofstra. Their free throw shootings let him down in the second half. Exactly. Second best free throw shooting team in the country coming into tonight. <laughs> Joe Mahalik. It's not over till it's over, especially with the three point arc. Hofstra shoots well, 39% from downtown. They lead the Colonial. The pride, three double figure scores, of course, led by Justin Ryan Foreman at Trump play tonight. Pemberton, number two on the team. He's got 11. So double figures for Eli Pemberton. The lead is seven. we got time, Hofstra. Play good D, don't foul. Protect the foul on here. Don't let him get the ball to the foul on here if you're Hofstra. Brace for three. Pemberton the defensive glass. Here come the pride again. Giant possession now for Hofstra. They got a score. Ray 
Too strong. Gresham a hand on it. Out of bounds of the Huskies. Yeah. Not a great shot, Dave. I didn't like that shot. Not that it didn't I am giving it. the ball to just the right form in this situation. Exactly. Without question if I'm hostile. <laughs> Second leading scorer in the country. But Why not? not? He, he should be touching the ball every time. Exactly. Not to shoot it, but let him at least touch it. You're oh. right. I want him shooting. All right, Dave. You sound like a coach. I like it. I don't want to play your team. 42 last night to set a tournament record. Single game in the Colonial. 25 yep. tonight. Yep. The right format. Yep. Yep. And as you know, he got 42 points last night, so his teammates got to know that. Brace almost lost it. Yep. Save. Up top. Pushitsa. Miss fires on a three. Offensive rebound. Gresham, right place, right time, fresh 30. That's a big offensive oh. board yep. for the Huskies. Yep. Last night they did it again tonight. Those second shots are helping them. Bump on Jalen Ray. Two fouls on the sophomore lefty. One and one. Hofstra's seventh team foul. So he shoots into the free throw line. Where he shoots 85%. Yeah. 107 for 126 from the line. It's not the guy you want to for foul. The brilliant yeah. senior from Belgrade, Serbia. First free throw attempt of the game. Missed oh. it. Wow. Right for him. Through traffic. What a spin. What a shot. Wow. He is How did he get through there? It was I unbelievable. Don't know. He spun. It was like a keyhole. He's got a great camera crew. See if they can catch it. Nice spin. Look at this. Whoa. Between Murphy and Osius. He's upset he missed it. I don't know. Got... had it. So did I. Yeah, man. Yeah, you gotta love his. He's got a big heart. Long way to go. Down seven. Twenty-six points for Justin Wright Foreman. It's two. All right, a little pressure. I like it. Don't want to foul. I'll be smart. You got time. Two possession game, Dave. I play great D. OCS on the bounce to Brace. Ten to shoot. Skip. Pushits open for three. Hits Boom. another one. Bombs away. Vasa Pushitsa has seven threes tonight. And the Huskies one step closer to the NCAA tournament. You're mixed up. Someone's playing man, some was zone that time, Dave. Wow. Right, Foreman responds. Timeout. He's up to 29. But Pushitsa is the story. Northeastern has a lead late. Our game reset with a minute 21 to go in regulation. Northeastern the ball. Vasavu Sheets has seven threes. Coach, that's one off the all-time Colonial Tournament record. Jonathan Baker for Richmond back in 96 against George Mason. Hit eight. Thanks. Career best seven threes for Pushitsa tonight. Remember last year in this game, in this arena, the overtime heartbreak of Northeastern. Pushitsa hit a then career best six threes. Yeah. Steps up. He is now. Big time Incredible Vasa. in big games. No, playing great in big games. It was a great pass day by Brace. That skip pass. They got mixed up a little bit. Some were in zone, Dave. Some were in man to man for Hopson. Got to communicate. Two possession game now. He's got to get a stop now without fouling. Don't let Vasa touch the ball. You got Bowie, defensive player of the year on him. Don't let him touch it now if you're Hopson. Keep it away from Vasa. Ray almost had the steal. 15 to shoot, and there's a bump. Three fouls, Pemberton. One and one. Sends Brace to the line. He's two for two from the free throw line so far. Six points and nine rebounds for Brace. He's a good free throw shooter, Dave. 76% coming in this evening. Hits front end. Big shot. Hits two. 
Watch free throws. And it's eight. Hofstra has two timeouts left. Try to score and call a timeout, Dave, if you can. Pemberton, the take. Ray can't hit Brace, the rebound, and the foul. And Northeastern moves one step closer to the NCAA tournament. It's not over yet, but they can smell it. People in Boston are checking his game out. Might be here for Boston, Dave. I mean, we saw Boston Red Sox a world champ. You mentioned that the to Pats, Bill Cohen. The Pats champs. The Celtics don't sleep on them. They could be the champs. And uh, the Colonial, well, this is close. It's not over yet, but it's close. Bill Cohen, 13th year. Class guy. A wonderful job. Got close last year. You can smell it right now. One more for Brace. Hits four in a row. Clutch from the line, again. Knocked out of bounds. Man to man D by Northeastern, and out of bounds. Pemberton. Two traffic to the left. Two timeouts left for Hofstra. Right Foreman commits his second foul. Yes. Coach Mahalik got headaches. Did a great job. Regular season champs of the CAA. School record number of wins. He's had a great, great year. They're going to play another day being regular season champs. But he wants to win for his team. He's been there before as an assistant, as a head coach at Niagara. And that's these young men to feel it because he loves his team and they love him. Osius hits the second. Nine point game, 35 seconds left, second half. Got to get a three. Got to be fast. Bump foul on Brace. Can't foul now if you're a Northeastern. Baby. You can't stop the clock. It's your friend, not your enemy. Two fouls on Bolden Brace. And Pemberton to the free throw line. She said before, Dave, Bill Cohn was so calm before the game. I mean, if I was before my championship game, I was bleeding from the eyes. I was foaming, veining. I was... So maybe I'm on Boot Hill with you. Pemberton has one more. I was a little calm. Might still be coaching. You talked about it with both coaches today in our meeting with Bill Cohen and Joe Mahalik after their shooting round. The toughest time for you was after the shooting round exactly. before tip off. Yep. So yep. nervous. And Bill Cohen was in no way nervous when we talked to him pregame tonight. He was great. Well, a team reflects the coach very often, Dave. And this team certainly reflected his poise, his terrific coaching ability. Gresham. Foul. As you, you were here last year, heartbreaker in overtime, the big lead you mentioned before, they thought it would be tough for them. Amazing. So now they get Bill a chance Taylor to commit this for. Yep. Go back to the big dance. It was a 17 point second half lead against Charleston for Bill Cohen's team. He told us this week one of the most difficult times he's ever been through as a coach. Gresham's got one more free throw. But he didn't watch the tape, didn't go back to review it, he moved ahead. Until Northeastern played Charleston this year, that's the first time he looked at that game tape. The last year's title matchup where they stormed the court here at Charleston as the Cougars made the NCAA tournament for the first time in nearly 20 years. His team is in great shape to go back to the NCAA tournament here in Charleston tonight. Flashback 2015, last title for Northeastern in Baltimore against William & Mary, Quincy Ford led Northeastern, their first and only Colonial Championship. 22 points, dominating wing, 72-61. Daniel Dixon, Terry Tarpey both chipped in double digits to help the Huskies win for Bill Cohen four years ago. They want to go back to the big dance in 2019, and they are very close. Eight-point lead, 25.4 left in the second half. Bowie. Challenged by Osius. And a 
a foul. You no foul. Clock's your friend. Game's over. Let him score now with the clock stopped. The junior from Boynton Beach, Florida. Sean Elsius commits his third foul. And Bowie. Saw playing time along with Wright Foreman in the 2016 CAA title game. A loss for Hostrup head to head with UNCW. Was, as he told us this morning, hoping for a shot of redemption. And of course, a championship tonight. It's going to be a tough one on Long Island to absorb for Joe Mahalik and Hofstra. Two possession game now. Got to try to get a turnover. Foul. Right for it. His third. Yep. Two possession game, Dave. It'll take a miracle, but miracles do happen. Third team all colonial, Jordan Rowland. We'll step up here, Redshirt Jr. Transfer from GW. 90% from the free throw line. Entering tonight his first attempt. Hits. Clutch again for Northeastern. Their free throw shooting has come through. Northeastern no is going to go to a zone now, I think, Dave. Just to... It's a pair. Show up zone press. One to two press to try to burn some clock. Bowie launches. Back iron miss. Rebound. Gresham. Brace. OCS. Gonna dribble it out. And Northeastern's gonna do it. There it is for the ninth time in school history. Northeastern is going to the NCAA tournament. The Huskies win the 2019 CAA Tournament Championship game. Great job for the Huskies. Play with a big heart, tremendous defense, excellent offense, really, really unselfish. Great win for the Huskies. 2019 is the year of the Husky in the Colonial. Sweet it is for Northeastern after losing in this arena to Charleston last year in overtime. No more bad memories for Northeastern, Pete. Yeah, unbelievable. Great win. Very happy for Coach Cohen. I'm sad for uh, Joe Mahalik. But uh, great win for the Huskies. They stepped up. How about Voss in the second half, Dave? On fire. He's terrific. He had 21 points. 7 for 12 from three-point land at six at half. 15 in the second half. The nation's second leading scorer, Justin Wright Foreman, finishes with 29. But Basha Pushitsa. That's him right there, number four. Absolutely brilliant. Is celebrating with the Huskies and their fans because they're going dancing. Exactly. In 2019. People in Serbia are going to be watching the big dance. They watch it every year. They're going to watch it even more closely with Vasa Pusica from Belgrade dancing. Gary Paris joined by Vasa Pusica. Vasa, I don't have to remind you, last season you guys were on this same stage, same game, same building, got a big lead. It didn't end well. When they tied it, how did you stay composed and make sure this one went differently? Um, I don't even know. We just, you know, kept doing what we did before that in the first half. Uh, we never, I don't know, I can't even talk right now. I mean, the emotions are just too high. I mean, this one, this one means so much to me. Uh, after, you know, coming over from Serbia six years ago and, uh, you know, finishing my career this way, uh, it's a dream come through. You're going to the NCAA tournament for the first time in your career. What's it feel like? Um... I mean, everybody, everybody in the world knows about NCAA tournament. Even, you know, growing up in Serbia, I used to watch a lot of those games, and uh, you know, those games are televised all over the all over the world. And I know how much this means to the university and all these guys. So, just amazing feeling. Thank you, Vasa. Go celebrate with your teammates. Gary Vasa, thanks. The fans in Serbia will watch one of their own, Vasa Pushitsa, in this year's NCAA tournament. His career is far from over. Once again, the final score, 82-74. Bill Cohen, Northeastern, 
dancing in 2019. For Pete Gillen, Gary Parrish, the entire crew, it's Dave Ryan saying so long. It's been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. We'll be back shortly with the trophy presentation. For now, we send it to Brent Swin Swincatch, Cleet LME, John Rossi in New York, for Inside College Basketball, Bracket Week presented by Kubota. Guys, what a night. For Northeastern, the Huskies dancing in 2019. Hey, Brent, thanks so much. Quite an atmosphere here in North Charleston. Joe D'Antonio, Commissioner of the Colonial, is here. We've got the big ticket. Northeastern has punched his ticket to the NCAA tournament this year and a trophy as well. Commissioner, take it away. Thanks, Dave. First and foremost, we'd like to congratulate the Hofstra Pride on a great season and a great tournament. Secondly, we'd like to thank the city of North Charleston, the city of Charleston, the North Charleston Coliseum, Sean Murphy and the entire CAA staff for putting on a great tournament and for their hospitality. And Billy, they're dancing on St. Patal Street, they're dancing on Huntington Ave. Congratulations, you're the 2019 CAA champions and you punched your ticket to the big dance. Congratulations. Thank you, Commissioner. Yeah, all right. The Commissioner's got the ticket. Coach Cohen, you're looking at that ticket now. Your team's got the trophy. What's going through your mind? Just, uh, just so, so proud. So proud of uh, all our fans that came down to support us. These guys who worked their tails off. Uh, throughout the summers, the pre-seasons. Um, you know, for many of them, this is uh, just just a lifelong dream to, to be able to participate in the NCAA tournament. And, um, you know, it's hard to put in words, but uh, just gratitude uh, for the opportunity to coach these guys, gratitude to be able to represent Northeastern, and, and gratitude to represent the CAA. But love these guys. There's some energy here with these guys. Bill, you were so close a year ago in this arena. You lost to Charleston, the hometown favorite. Had to be so difficult to take. Now you're raising the trophy in this very building. And it was largely due to Vasa Pushitsa and his will to win. How do you best describe his effort tonight? Well, he's done it for us all year long and really for the past two years. Everybody knows he's a tremendous competitor and uh, there's, there's nobody uh, you would rather have with the ball in his hands when, when when everything's on the line. So we're very, very fortunate and very proud of him uh, as, as the rest of the guys are. Time to celebrate, Huskies. You did it. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Northeastern 2019 yeah. CAA champs. The ticket's going back to Boston. Yeah. And good luck to them in the tournament. Brett, let's go back to you guys in the studio.